Hello everybody, welcome back to my freaking channel. If you do not know me, my name is Kiana Curry. I am the one and only Kiana Curry. I really do think I need to change my um setting on my um camera or whatever. I kind of don't feel like it. Y'all, one thing I do hate about myself, like my hands, like, girl, no lotion can, like, keep these things moisturized. So I'm always putting on lotion. Like, it's, like, one of my biggest pet peeves. Okay, but anyways, y'all, let's get into this freaking video. So today's topic is how did YouTube make an impact on my life, good or bad? So I'm finna fill y'all in, okay? So me personally... I feel like YouTube has definitely made an impact on me good and definitely bad. I'm going to start with the good first because I don't want to just jump in right into the negative. Like, I'm 100% positive. I love being positive. I'm all about good energy and just so outgoing and smiling. Like, oh, but so I'm going to let y'all know. YouTube has definitely made an impact on me in a good way because um, I've met the people I wanted to meet. My channel attended to grow. Um, what else? Um, I've accomplished a lot. Like me personally, me being, my channel isn't a couple channel, okay? Couples come up way much quicker in this industry versus a person that does it by themselves alone. My channel is 100% by itself alone. So it's harder for me, but then again, it's kind of not because I have learned like what's my niche on my channel, what they really want to see, um, you know, what get the highest views, what get the lowest views. So I've been teaching myself all that other stuff. Yeah, I keep looking that way, but I'm really, my camera's is over here. So I'm looking this way, but I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to <laughs> bear with me. Okay, I got my GoPro, but I just still choose to use my phone because I love the natural lighting or whatever. But... Yeah, my channel has grew, you know, I met people, um, I definitely came up a lot with my channel. Like, you can literally see from day one to today. You can literally see my progress. You can literally see the time and dedication and the work I put in for my channel. And I'm just so proud of myself about my channel. But that's pretty much the good, though. I met the people I wanted to meet. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. But let me tell you what I dislike about the YouTube industry, like, what impact has it made on the bad? Okay, so for the bad, I feel like since I'm a social media influencer, hold on, bring my camera down, so I screw my phone back or something. Mm. Unless I just sit up some more, I don't know. Okay. So I feel like the bad about the YouTube industry, the what it, the way how it did me, me personally. What is that on the phone? Don't don't mind that, please. <laughs> okay, so me personally, I feel like um, me being a social media influencer, my life is social media. Okay, and I'm starting to dislike that. I'm really am like I'm really trying to be private now, but I can't because this is how I eat. This is how I make my money. This is how I get with brands. This is how I work with people. So I have no choice but to be public. And I feel like that's what messes up my friendship, my relationships. It messes up me mentally, physically, and emotionally up here because of the media. I can't change. I, I can't. I'm trying to change, but I feel like at some point I can't. But I love being a social media influencer. Don't get me wrong, I freaking love it. But what I hate about it is that you cannot keep your life private. You cannot keep things to yourself because your audience is like, it turns into family. It turns into family. It turns into your people. So you ain't have no choice. You don't got no choice but to tell them like what's really going on. You can pick and choose, but however, me personally, I talk so damn much, so it's just like, they're going to end up knowing, like, what's really going on with me. And I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to work on that. But me personally, I feel like I can't do it. <laughs> so I'm not going to force myself to do it. It is what it is. But the, I don't care. I have no problem with people knowing my business. Because at the end of the day, we all human. We all make some mistakes. We all... You're just people. Like, it's nothing you can do about it. Like, I'm pretty sure the things that I've experienced in life, somebody out there has went through the same thing as me. It's just it says I'm so public and my life is out there. Whoop-de-de-de-do. Like, it, it, 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And then another thing, like, with the social media, like, sometimes I'll say things on Facebook, like, you know, make it, you know how most people use Twitter. I'm a Facebook, okay? I'm from Chicago, Illinois, but I was seven three. So, I'm always on the book talking at Yappa Yappa. But it's like, sometimes it be dang, like, they probably don't talk about my relationship. They probably think this shit about me whole time, though. I'm just speaking facts. I'm just sharing my opinion. But since I'm social media informed, so they want to take it as, oh, you being Facebook, or you doing this for the media, or this and that. But whole time, though, I'm just being myself. I'm just being normal. But have, some people just can't take what they dish out. You feel me? But I really do feel like this industry is only... Only the toughest people will make it in this industry. If you are a weak link, you would definitely not freaking make it here. Like, I am telling you, it's, bro, this industry is something else. And if you cannot put up with the backlash, the, the like, the time and dedication for this, don't do YouTube. Don't. Because it's, like, it's, it's not really going to be there for you for real. You feel me? It's not really going to be there for you for real. You have to really want this in order for things to work out with you. You feel me? So... I've been doing this social media shit for years, you feel me? Since I was in sixth grade, I was on Vine. I was on Musical.ly. I was on Instagram. I was out there. Like, I was branding myself. I was working with brands. I was I was doing the auditions. I was doing the modeling, the TV shows, and all that stuff. And I really, it, yeah, and it still, <laughs> it paid off. Don't get me wrong. I've, I've learned a lot in it. But, however, my platform still hasn't grown because I have several different accounts. And I feel like if I stayed on one account, I'll be good, but like, since so your girl got like seven different accounts and I be forgetting passwords and stuff, so I feel like that's why my fan base isn't as high because I got several accounts. But I'm trying to really change myself with just social media stuff. Like, I have no, like I said, I have no problem letting people in on my life, but however, it does get a bit overwhelming. It does, it really does. But moving forward, I feel like I am just in this state and moment of mind right now where I have to find out what's really good for me. I'm never going to quit YouTube, but it isn't forever. Like, one day the media might crash. One day um, all internet might come to an end. You don't know. So it's like you have to have a backup plan. And right now, my backup plan right now, I really, I truly want to get into nursing because I have several reasons why I should get into nursing. And I feel like I should have been at that. But however, I was still figuring out myself. So I got pushed back a little bit, which is okay. Like, I got a clothing line. I started that, didn't finish. it. got the LLC and everything to back myself up. Um, I did. I invested my time, dedication to that money and all. And I didn't push forward into that. I'm like, you know, I love clothes, you know, whatever. I don't want to get a store. I want to open up a store with my stuff in it, but I just didn't finish it because of social media. Um, I moved to Houston. I left Houston. And that's another story time, but I'm not ready to talk about that yet because it's emotional. I'm not really, I, I'm not ready to talk about that. But, um, yeah, like, I just can't. I just can't like i um started doing nails didn't finish that because first of all it's fun it's cute Ooh, i invested my time and money into that spent thousands on it and i didn't finish because that is something i am not dedicated to i have to find something that i am dedicated to you see youtube i'm dedicated to it that's my life so i feel like if i could find something that is good enough as youtube i'll be great at it i can keep it going i can finish it i can complete it so I'm really, I went to beauty school, didn't finish because I couldn't, I was not happy. Like, I'm like, yeah, everybody want they, it's quick money. So that's another thing like a lot of people do. They don't really want to do hair, but they do hair because it's quick money. A lot of people don't really want to do nail. They just nail because it's quick money. That money is right there, so why not go get it under the table? But however, I just feel as though like... I really want to be a nurse. So I'm not going to start school to, for nursing until I'm 100% ready this time. Because I have to be dedicated to them books, that time, the dedication and everything. So, And then on top of that, I still got to make income off of social media. So I got to make time for that too. Like, It's a lot of stuff that I have to do right now. So right now, with, that, with this being said, I have to find out... Um, my start day of school. That's really, that's really what I'm doing. I don't want to start right now in the fall. I actually want to start in the winter because I feel like it's a good time. 
Nobody really gonna be in class for real. So why not? And I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the summer. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the best I can. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do the best I can for this. I gotta make it one way or the other. I have to get out. I bro, I, I I'm out, but like I'm somewhere. Trust and believe that. I'm somewhere, but it's like I want to go further. Like I'm gonna go far. <laughs> it's never enough for me. Like I have to do something else. And that's for like I feel like that's why I didn't finish a couple of things because I feel like, hmm, that's not enough. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. Waste my time. I want to do something else. Like, I'm always, like, yeah, I'll wake up in the morning. I cook a meal. Oh, shit, I'm finna start cooking meal. I'm finna sell them bitches. I'm finna do all this. I'm finna do that. And it's just be like, a few days later, hmm, I'll do that no more. I want to do something else. So I'm trying to really, like, find out what I am really good at and what I can just finish <laughs> without all the commotion up here and, and stuff. I don't know. I'm normal. I'm, I'm normal like everybody else. So I don't think any higher. Like, you can think higher of me. But don't, like, think less of yourself. I don't know how to really put it. Like, I'm just as normal as you. Why? But, um, yeah, y'all. That's pretty much what's it about this video. It's, like, how did YouTube change my life, you know, and what's the good and bad. Like I said, once again, the good is that I accomplished all the goals I wanted to complete. But the bad is that social media is my life so i don't i have to broadcast my life and i don't i, I don't like that sometimes i don't but it is what it is because this is how i eat so i have to broadcast my life <laughs> i have to talk about my life so it's like yeah that's what my little cross off out i i did it's okay because i'm gonna put it back on but anyways y'all like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next freaking video and we're almost down to But I'll see y'all in the next freaking video.